Okay, here's a starter ride. We're going to take you on a tour to the art museum and back on the bicycle. It's a little over 13 minutes long, and uh, let's start off here. Just left the car. Oh, what are they doing on the picnic table? This is more of the trail. About half a mile in or so. Nice trees. We're riding along. Here we go with other bikers. Not too bad yet, but it'll get a lot worse as we go on the trail. A little river on the side there. The water. As we continue on uh, under one of the bridges. I don't remember what highway that is, but uh, under the bridge, a lot more people here. Now it's all crowded. I think uh, this is the uh, joint between the Perkiomon Trail and the Skookum River Trail. These people don't know which way they want to go, I don't think. Uh, Whatever their problem is. So here we'd make the turn, go up the hill. We're going to go across that bridge up there. And we went across the bridge. Now we're on the straightaway in the Valley Forge Historical Park. Heading toward Philadelphia. Well, we're going to hit a couple cities before that. But uh, Here we go on. The trail opens up uh, out of the trees. We continue on. Uh, I mean, you can see really far in the distance there. It's a straight shot for like a mile, mile and a half. You can see the high power lines all the way in the distance there. It's all slight grade uphill on this ride here. Passing a couple of uh, uh, boating places, like little marinas type thing in the, uh, in the river itself. As we continue on this long straightaway, here we are. We're going to, uh, across the bridge here. This is in, this is uh, Conchahawken, I believe, coming into the, the uh, west side of Conchahawken. This, I believe, is the you see they're downing town of Conchahawken bus and septa terminal. I don't know which one it is. I just ride my bike through. I don't know which one it is. Here we go through the bike trail here, and it continues on down further here. Okay, here we go. This is a new construction here. They altered the trail. They put this little hill here with these sidewalls. Uh, it's pretty hairy at the bottom here. When we get to the bottom here, it's it's a hard right turn. It's a blind spot here. So if anybody's coming the other way, I'm going to smash into them. But uh, let's see. Anybody coming? Nope, nobody's coming. That's good. Very good. As we continue on. Loops around here and goes up around, and right there's a sewage plant. I forget which one that is. It's a pretty large sewage plant. And it stinks like hell when we get to the top here. Oh, we continue on. This is Conchahawken. Uh, this is uh, used to be Luke and Steel. I don't know what it's called now. It keeps changing hands. But uh, the trail goes on the backside of this steel mill for the length of the steel mill. It's a pretty long steel mill. And we're coming out uh, down the hill here into uh, another septic terminal. I don't know which one. Winds down here, down the hill into the Septa Terminal. Here we go. Okay, down the hill. Okay, we're past the terminal now, a little bit farther down. There's the Septa Train. Yay! Look at the Septa Train. Yeah. Mommy walking the baby. As we continue on. This I hate these railroad tracks here where they have these. You gotta go over in an angle there. It's just stupid. Oh, I put that in there, but anyway, it's in there. As we continue on, we're going down the hill here. We're coming into the backside of Maniac now. Down this long hill. We're gonna go across the septa tracks. There's, oh, watch the cars. There's any cars? Nope, it's all good. Continue on. Continue on. Uh, the trail's gonna change here. It's gonna go from uh, paved to dirt for a few miles as we cross these railroad tracks here and continue on this stupid cobblestone area I don't know why they don't repave this what does this what does this mean There's nothing historic about this Just rip it out and pave it over anyway here we go into the the dirt part of the trail uh, it goes along the canal here behind Maniac for several miles as we continue on through the trail. What is that? Seven seven miles per hour speed limit? Oh, that's ridiculous. We continue on through the trail. Oh, now we're coming to the first wooden bridge behind Maniac on the Maniac Trail. Here it is. Behind the Slowpoke family. As we continue on, there's about six or seven of these bridges behind Maniac down along the canal here. Here's another one under one of the highways 
as we continue on. Still behind the slow family. Still behind the slow family. Now watch this. They're going to slow down and they're going to stop. Want to bet? They're going to screw me up. There they go. Yep. They stopped. <sighs> so irritating. You can't ride the bike. You can't look as you come out of there. You got to stop and get off the bike and hold everybody up behind you. There's a little spot right up here on the left. They have cool bands sometimes during the summer right here. Left side there. They have, they have bands set up for free. They play once in a while as we continue up the Manion Canal. I got I to gotta ditch this slowpoke family that don't know how to ride a bike. Got to get rid of them. Go, got rid of them. Had to make a detour, come up on the street. Downtown Manioc, where the bicycles rule the town. There's definitely more bicycles on the road than cars, for sure. Especially on the weekends. It's kind of dead today, though. It was really dead this day. Here we make the turn. Down on to, uh, we're going to be going on to Kelly Drive. As we make our turn toward Fairmont Park. And we're continuing on to Fairmont Park here. The guy's going a little fast, almost smashing the other guy. Way to go. Slow down, dude. Slow down. Nice river on the side there. As we continue down the trail. Oh, you can see the skyline, the Philadelphia skyline in the background as we approach Boathouse Row. Up a little further. Everybody's out. Riding the bikes or jogging. Enjoying the day. It was pretty warm. This is a cool... They cut out the rock here. I don't know if this is a railroad or what was before the bike trail, but they cut this rock out to wind the trail through here like this. Pretty interesting. As we continue on toward Boathouse Row. Oh, Boathouse Row, here we go. Come on, you better jog faster than that. Make it make it worthwhile, come on. Yep, there you go, pass it, people. There you go, good job, good job. These, I hate these rental bicycle things with six or seven people are so ridiculous they just stop renting these things just hold everything up they stall your forward progress hate it oh here we are in the back side of the art museum as we come to the back side of the art museum we're going to wind around the left side and go to the front of the art museum here we are in the front of the art museum uh, ready to go to the main area here in the front of the museum uh oh here we got these look at these kids they can't ride a bike they can't stay on the bike they're on the sidewalk in the middle of the people Ready to crash into somebody. Look at them. They, they, can't, they can't ride a bike. Get off the sidewalk. Learn how to ride the bike. Get off. What's that woman running for? What's she doing? Look at her. What is she running for? Anyway, there's the art museum. Yeah, take that picture, lady. Good job. Good job. Take that picture. Now we're going to give you a view of the art museum as I swing around with the camera here and give you a sweeping shot. Oh, isn't it pretty? There's the Philadelphia Art Museum. In all its glory. Whatever. There it is. It's hot as hell down here all the time. And today is no exception. As we continue on. What is the fascination with that Rocky statue? Look at all those people surrounded around that Rocky statue. Rocky's now 70 years old. As we continue down back to front. Here we are back at the the rear of the art museum heading down the bike trail again nice rock formations back here they have all kind of cool uh, structures that are built onto the rock face itself as we continue down everybody getting their exercise oh i see the skyline again this is heading down toward downtown philadelphia uh it ends just past walnut street i believe but uh, as we continue on down the trail here and here we are you can see the skyline there. You can see some of the buildings on the on the other side of the river there as we continue down the trail to where it ends. It winds under the bridge here. More slow people. Great. One thing bad about Saturday or Sunday on this trail is a lot of slow pokes out and a lot of people in general. As we make our way to the end here. And it's rest time. This was the end. Uh, this is, I always rest here uh, at the top of this. This is about mile 26 or 28, I forget. Usually you have a little snack and then head back down. Here we go, heading back down. Yep, that is right running. There you go. Good job. Good job. As we continue through, heading back up to the rear of the art museum as we head back up the river. This is a little skateboard park here they built a couple years ago. It's usually jammed with people, but today it's pretty empty. There's not many people here. So 
You see one kid there as well. You can see there. So we're going to do something a little different here. Uh, we're not going to go up the trail. We're going to make a hard right here. And we're going to go on to West River Drive. There's the art museum there. And we're going to continue on West River Drive behind the art museum. A lot of wide open spaces. Here we are on West River Drive. Much wider open spaces. That balloon is at the Philadelphia Zoo. Left there. Uh, I can get a lot more speed. I can really, I really get going here. I can get 20, 25 miles an hour. Up this 8 mile stretch. I believe it's like 8 miles. Back to the Falls River Bridge. Oh, oh they, they closed the road, which means just bikes and no cars. Wonderful. What's that kid doing? How does he get ahead of me now? <sighs> Look at him. He got ahead of me. He was ahead of me the whole way. Now he's ahead of me. He snuck around me there. There he goes. All right, let's open this baby up. All right, now we got the road. The bikes have the road. The road's blocked off to all cars. Now we can really go. Here we go. It's all closed off to all cars, which means you can go use the entire road. Get some speed at some of these spots. Oh, that's not good. Not good. Flat tire. Don't want to see that. Well, somebody else maybe, but you don't want to have it happen to you. Okay, here we're coming down the hill to Manyang Drive as we continue back to the car. The hard left here, go across the bridge, and we're going to come up on the bus station here at the, at the bottom of the hill before we hit the uh, Manyang downtown area. Take it easy there, don't run into me. There you go. Good job. Okay, downtown Manioc. Again, the bicycles rule the town. Everybody eating their lunch. And a lot of nice little restaurants in Manioc. So as we continue on here, a lot of people out today. We'll continue through the town of Manioc. Spending their money and eating lunch. Uh, watch this trick. Watch what I do here. I don't really care if this car is coming up the alleyway. I'm going down there. I don't care if he's coming up. I can fit in there. Oh, no problem. Not a worry. Back on the trail at the canal. Safe and sound. We go back on the... I think this is one of the last wooden bridges where we get to the the dirt part of the trail again. Here we go, back on the dirt part of the trail. It's, it's paved in various couple spots, like this one, but most of it's uh, unpaved. These are a little faster. They ain't slow pokes here. They're a little faster. Up, oh, time for a rest. This is probably a mile 45 or 48. Taking a little rest as we continue on. Heading back to the car. We're maybe, I don't know, 10 miles from the car at this point. Something like that. As we continue on. Watch this guy. He's going to pass me now. Look at this goof. Look at this. Flip-flops, beach, no shirt. He's he's a stalker, man. Something he is really strange, that dude. Okay, this is the end of the trip. And it's about four miles from the car, but I decided to cut it off here. I got tired of taking video. So I hope you enjoyed this. See you later.